We're extremely lucky. A few years ago, we had a new complex built and a breeding centre. Uh, I'm gifted six of these cheetah uh, from the UAE, from two shakes over there. Uh, we have gone on to our breeds uh, since then. Current numbers stand at uh, 15 at the moment. There's um, eight uh, males and uh, seven females. 2010, we bred uh, our five animals here off of Dubai and Shiraz, our male, who are priority one animals. Their bloodline is very important, so we need to breed those first and foremost, which we did. And as I said, we had five cubs of those guys. And then in 2012, then we were um, the you know, same couple again, same pairing. Yeah, did a little bit of actually bred six youngsters, so um, straight away we're really making impact. And these guys reach maturity around about, say, 14, 15 months, you know, thereabouts. You know, it's not a no um, exact cut-off point. I was wanting to do an if these mixed uh, sixes in that letter, which we had uh, four or uh, females and two males, we then split them then and I have to keep them here for a, a few months. And then the original letter, we had uh, two females, three males, and of which uh, once females reached maturity, they went off to a collection as part of the breeding program. Each species has what's called a stud book and an individual person will then manage that book. These cubs our genetics have been mapped and obviously traced back to who after certain males and females which you can and can't breed with and so the stubble will then let us know, the person will let us know then obviously when we can breed you know and obviously as certain animals are going and who we cannot breed with at certain times as well so obviously you know it is strictly managed and certainly more importantly than anything is keeping that gene pool as accurate you know as pure as possible. We've been very fortunate here at Whipsnade you know, and over the years we've bred um, numerous amounts, both of the southern and the northern. So uh, yeah, it's all managed very, very carefully. I think in the uh, general captive numbers are around about um, 100. And I think the wild numbers, again, are extremely uh, scarce. These guys are around about 300 on the last head count or thereabouts. So I think they've been clocked around about sort of 60, um, 65 miles an hour even. You know, I mean, very high speeds but they need to. As obviously their main prey they do catch, you know, little gazelle and whatnot. You know, are super quick, so you need that speed to catch them. Well, particularly as cubs, you know, as youngsters, you know, you'll see them scamp around playing with you know, little objects and whatnot. Um, you know, I've learned their trade as well, you know, the hunting techniques. And I'll say the grooming's a big one as well. You know, the family unit or with the pairing, of they will uh, sit and obviously groom each other as well, just like your cat, and obviously will groom itself at home. You know, the feeding patterns as well, again, they obviously will go off and they will feed um, individually. Obviously no cat at home would like, you know, sort of sharing a bowl with his companion generally will go off and, you know, split off. You know, again, with these guys, you know, don't like feeding generally all together, you know, they will um, split off and feed um, individually. So, yeah, I mean, all animals, you know, who have the distinctive markings, you know, whether it be stripes or spots or whatnot, you know, obviously it is there for a specific reason. You know, generally so these guys will hunt in the, um, Plains areas, it's, you know, obviously there's a lot of wispy, you know, browny golden grass in there. You know, obviously, these guys, there are spots to keep them camouflaged to the last possible moment.